Hi everyone, it's Dawn and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, there's some good news out there if you want to cruise but you're worried about seasickness because there's an invention out there that may just eliminate a lot of motion sickness on cruise ships. So cruise ship industries have come a long way and they have a lot of inventions out there that help to eliminate as much of the motion sickness and the motions and the vibrations in the cruise ship as possible. So for instance, you see the stabilizers on the sides of the ship. So those are those big long arms that stick out the side and they help keep the ship from going rocking in this direction. Now, of course, when you're heading this way into waves, you have to ride those waves so you're going to have this up and down motion. And if you're at the front of the ship or the back of the ship, the back of the ship tends to get a little less than the front of the ship. And people say, well, that's kind of strange. Why wouldn't it be equal? Except that when you think about it, when you're in the front of the ship, it gets that bang into the water when it goes down, when it hits the bottom wave, where the rear of the ship doesn't have that little bang. So worst place to be if you're suffering from motion sickness is way up at the front of the ship at a high level that would probably be the worst possible place to be for that and they also have something called the bulbous head bow and that's like a, a big huge bump at the front that rides just below the water and what that does is it disperses the water out around the hull not only increasing its you know its speed through the water, but it cuts down on the vibrations that the waves would cause uh, pounding against the hull if that bubble wasn't there. So it, re it releases frictions and by adding that bubbles in there, they, were, they almost eliminate completely any vibrations in a cruise ship. So those are some things that they've done to eliminate motion sickness as best they can, not to mention building huge skyscrapers on the water now that are as, you know, as tall as a lot of buildings nowadays. That also helps, but if you're on a smaller ship, uh, you're still going to get some seasickness. But a company has come out with a new bow in the front, and it's called the X-Bow. It's a new patent, and right now you see it on quite a few of freighters and ships like that. But there is a new cruise ship that was just launched using this technology. You can tell uh, the difference between a regular cruise ship and one that will have an X-Bow on it just because the X-Bow basically looks like the front of an aircraft. There's no windows, there's this great big huge bubble in the front and they say this one will dis disperses the wave more evenly around the front and s instead of going up and down riding the wave with the, the narrow front of a cruise ship they say it now just glides into it and it just bubbles the water around it. Now this is the first cruise ship to try the X-Bow. It has about 80 cabins on it, so it's not a huge cruise ship. But if this works and it does eliminate a lot of the motion sickness because smaller ships are the ones that are really going to feel any kind of bad weather, any kind of rough seas at all. So if this works for a smaller ship, the, the large cruise lines are really interested in it because a lot of huge freighters have now taken up this design. And so if they can work on large freighters and they can work well on a small cruise ship, you may now start to see these designs coming in, in the, when new designs for ships are being built. And if that happens and it does cut down on motion sickness, it could just eliminate all your fears about sailing on a cruise ship if you suffer from motion sickness. So that's that's good news. It, it's quite a few years down the road unless you go on that one ship. But uh, let's see if this technology works. The cruise ships are monitoring it very, very closely because if they can make anything a little more comfortable for their passengers and all it is is changing the design of the front of the ship, they'll do it because it doesn't really cost anything extra to design a ship that way than it does to design it the way it is now. So we'll see. Ships could look quite, quite different 10 or 15 years down the road from now. And uh, once this design starts to take hold, 
it could happen just like that. I well, hope you liked this update. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You'll see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world. Hit that subscribe button. Till next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.